if your hosting provider uses the cPanel interface, then you can easily install WordPress. No need to download the zip file from the wordpress.org or create a database. With only a few clicks, you will, e you will have your own WordPress website ready. Currently, I'm using the Namecheap Stellar Plus shared hosting which uses the cPanel interface. So if you go to the home page of Namecheap and then under hosting is the shared hosting. And there's the Stellar Plus and you, as you can see it's very cheap and the main thing is that you can have unlimited number of websites, SSD hosting, unlimited mailboxes, auto backup, very important and website builder, it's their website builder, doesn't matter whether you use it or not. So it's very cheap compared to other hosting provider will charge you for each WordPress website okay so if you're interested then I'm providing the link to Namecheap down in the comments and description so you can check it out okay let's get back so firstly so this is my Stellar Plus so I'm going to go to the cPanel interface over here okay it's redirecting me to the cPanel interface so this is the cPanel interface of my hosting Namecheap hosting and when you scroll down you see the scripts WordPress and over here you see directly WordPress by soft Tacculus. okay just click over here it's very convenient okay so here you see the, all the websites which I have for WordPress and what you need to do to, in order to install WordPress you need to click over here okay and then what you need to do you need to choose the domain or the host uh, or the subdomain where you are uh, going to install the WordPress website okay um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I've created a subdomain for this kind of task and the name of the subdomain is tasbirwebsolutions.com In another video of mine, I've showed how you can create a subdomain in the Namecheap cPanel So if you're in, I'm putting the link to that video down in the description So if you're interested, please check that out and if you want to install WordPress in a directory, you can just give it a name over here, suppose dir. So it will install the WordPress website like this slash in the directory in this URL. But I'm not going to use the directory feature. I'm just going to directly install in this subdomain sample.thazvirwebsolutions.com. Okay. Over here you can give the site name, name of the site. I can simply say sample. Okay. And over here what you need to do. Now let's over here. Now let's just open up a brand new notepad. So in case you like forget these are very important. The username and password okay for the username you can use your own username like for me Tazvir I'm going to use this and make sure you like note this down user and password okay I'm going to copy this I'm going to paste this over here and I'm also going to copy this password so just use whatever password they are suggesting because it is very strong never use an easy password because otherwise it would be very easy to hack okay in the admin email uh, make sure that you use your actual email address so if in case you lose your password you can easily retrieve your website 
but as this is an example or demonstration which I am showing that's why I'm going to use a made-up email this will right of yahoo.com so I can use this one okay copy email but in your case make sure that you use an actual email because in case you lose your password then you need to need to like uh, the forget password feature they will send the re, uh, reset password reset link in your email address then you can select which plugins you want to install so if you hover over here it will give you the information of about the plugin okay but for me uh, login attempts I don't want that I usually use iTheme security plugin but if you are used to that you can use that okay okay then let's see the advanced options over here so these are database options which you don't need to bother with if you're a beginner no need to bother with it and here are some additional themes we can install over here okay these are additional themes but uh, if not selected the default default theme will will be installed themes are provided by popular effects and being told page layer i don't i'm not interested in this i just want the default theme then i can install the theme which i want like such as extra and plugin page builder i want such as elementor so let's just click on install okay it's installing so currently let's check out sample already installed you see congratulations your software was installed you see this already installed so quickly only within a few three clicks and now it's using the default wordpress theme to log in to my wordpress website i'm going to go to wp admin and then i'm going to use this username tasveer and this one password over here okay then i am going to click login see how easily you log now you are logged in just save the password to your chrome so don't need to okay over here you see this is your wordpress website easily installed using the soft calus uh, i am not sure how to you pronounce this but uh, this is how this is within the c panel interface of your hosting using which you can easily install wordpress okay so these are the one so if this video helped you out then please make sure to like this video and also please subscribe to my